Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to extract frames from videos. I'm going to, I'm going to use Python and a notebook to extract a few of the videos that I have in here with me in this whole structure. I'm going to use specifically two libraries, hopefully I don't need more. Uh, the two libraries mentioned and used are uh, the Python CV2, which is the OpenCV computer vision library, and also the operating system OS library. So we need the CV2 to read the videos and also to write the images. Uh, the OS we need to, you know, uh, go to the folder structure, create, move, delete, whatever we do in the computer, we need the OS uh, library for this. So I'm just gonna hit Control Enter to import these two. No problem here. Okay, so the first thing I am going to firstly show you how to extract uh, images from a single video. Then I am going to use a for loop to iterate through all the videos here um, to hopefully uh, to extract everything for all the videos. So I'm just gonna you know create a videos folder and just gonna move these three to the videos folder. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Okay, it's on the videos folder. Good. Now we can start working. So uh, the the images, the frames that we're going to save for the videos will need a name. So I am going to use a counter for that. So that means I, uh, when each of the frames will be saved as images, it will be as zero. Uh, like the name of the file, the name of the picture will be zero, one, two, three, and onwards. Uh, how many times, how many frames are there in total? So I'm just initializing a uh, uh, count frame for that. Uh, sorry, the count variable for that. So the next thing that I am going to need is the capturing the video. So for that, I'm going to use a simple variable to store the captured video using the cv video capture. It the, it takes the a string as a location as a path to where the video is the, the actual video that we are targeting so we are going to go into the videos folder and then we are going to select this file here so that would be new fi20.api now just to let you know this dot syntax like this dot that, uh, that as you can see it means that where it, it will start the location from where your Python script or notebook is. So for me, this video, this this is the Python notebook. The videos folder is beside it, so I, ju I just have to go inside. Sorry, my bad. Uh, so I just have to go inside the videos folder and select the first, the second, or the third video depending on my choice. You can also use the root folder extension. So this in fact, like folder, it's in my, I guess, it's in my E drive. Then uh, I have to go into a folder called machine learning or I don't know, YouTube. Uh, so, yeah, that way also you can do it, but I'm gonna use the easier way, which is as I know that the videos are just in the same folder, the videos folder is the same folder as my Python script. Good. So this captures the video into a like a variable. Now we are going to capture try to capture a single image. So that, that would be if I if I read like uh, if I give cap dot read, it's gonna it's gonna return two uh what do you call two things? It's gonna return two things. First, it, the first thing is if it can successfully read a frame from the video and the second part is the exact image so we need two variables to store these two so i'm just gonna say success comma image equals this so this is gonna read the video if it's successful it's gonna save a boolean in the success and it's gonna save the image in the image directory so for like uh i'm gonna say if it cannot save the like read the frame from the video it, the success will be false and the image variable will be none 
None. Yes. Okay, good. So for simplicity for the reasons to see if a success, so I'm just gonna print success. If I can see, yeah, it's true, that means it can uh, read the frames. Good. Now, so I'm gonna use a for loop to iterate, uh, not exactly iterate, but to use this in a like, you know, looping manner to get all of the images in the video. In the video, yes. Okay. So for that, I'm gonna use the true while true, which is uh, success is true, so I'm just, I'm just gonna use while success. While it is being su successful, I am going to ex again read the success and image to tap dot read. Uh, I am going to save the image using cv2. I am right to write the image. This I am right function takes two arguments. One is the location. Sorry, one is the location where we are going to save it. Because the location also needs to be also the name of the image file that we're going to save and also what Im what are we saving so we are saving this image uh, whatever is stored in this image of uh, variables so yeah okay good so we are not saving it here we are, are we, my plan was to create another folder i'm going to show you how to create a folder so as you can see there are uh, the create a different folder we can easily obviously click this and create an, another folder but we are programmers so we can create folders using this uh, OS library so we are gonna say like if the folder we have to check if the folder exists or not so if the folder already exists same name folder already exists it might return an error uh, so I'm gonna check that if OS app dot exist uh, now I'm going to say if a folder named frames exist or not so if it is true uh, if it's false so if not this exact line gives a boolean of if if this this exact uh, location exists in the operating system or not so if it exists if it does not exist uh, the, it, it's gonna run so if I can just comment it out uh, creating a folder if it doesn't exist. Nice, good. So if it does not exist, so os dot make directory named the frames. <coughs> That's it. Good. So we're gonna just say, <coughs> excuse me, frames. Then uh, the name. Of the picture, name of the picture, as I said in the, fir in the first part of this video, it's gonna be the count. So I'm just gonna add it like string concatenation. So I'm just gonna convert it into string. So that's count and also the extension, as it's an image, it can be a PNG, it can be other things. I'm gonna save it as JPG. So it's gonna save it using this extension and it's gonna save the image. Now, if the videos, video you're trying to do is very long and you need to stop in the middle, you can ov obviously use stop kernel. You are, if you're not using a Python notebook, you can cross off the um, the Python script that, that it's running, but we are gonna specify specific code for it to, you know, break out of it if the windows, so. Uh, so it's cv2.wc. So if it is this, uh, so it, it is going to break out of the loop. That's as simple as that. So I am going to obviously increase the count by 1 in every loop so that the first image is saved as 0, next image is saved as 1.jpg, 2.jpg, and so on. Of course, okay, so the last, like after the last frame has been done, it's the the success is all still successful like it's gonna it's gonna hold true right so it's gonna enter the for loop but when it's gonna try to read it it's not going to be able to read it because the last frame is already been read and saved so uh, it, it, it the success will be false then but it's already inside the loop the image will be none and then it cannot write here so it will produce an error uh, like at the end when all of the frames are saved 
So to bypass that error, we just have to check if it's false. And if it's false, if success is false, then we need to break out of it. So if not success, we need to break out of the loop. That's it. So if success is true, just continue on with the loop. If success is false, just break out of the loop. That's it. So I guess that's it. Uh, the, yeah, that's it. We can run it. And yeah, it's true. It is being run and it created a frame frames folder because it does not it was not there and if we open the frames over and we can see around 40 images 40 frames of the first video nice all right okay so similarly we can show you like we can do all of the videos like there are three videos here uh, the first video is already done um, so what we can do is you know copy it here uh, this one right Wait, uh, yeah, we need to copy up to this part. Let's use another, like, you know, uh, cell for this. Okay, so what we need to do is iterate over all of the all of the files in the video folder. So for that, you we can use a for loop. So for files in os.list directory, and we need to specify the directory here. So this is for our case with the videos, where all the videos are kept. Excuse me. So, um, so all the files are here, so we need to, you know, give a tab here for indentation. And as we are, uh, like targeting each of the files here, so we need to do is, uh, yeah, we can do it from the beginning here because we can set the count to zero, uh, because and delete all of here. Yes. Delete, delete here. So let's recycle bin. Uh, yes, everything's been deleted. Good. Now we are gonna do it from all over again here. Uh, so the video capture, as I said before, requires a uh, string. So string would be the this os dot path dot join. It's gonna join a path with a uh, file. So for joining purposes, we need this. So it's gonna take first argument, two arguments, the two strings or the two paths, and we need to join. So first argument, obviously videos, we're going to go inside the videos and then the file name, the file. Yes, this is, this is capturing the video, it's successful, uh, doing it all over again in the frames folder. Uh, I think that's done. That's just, yeah, this, let's run it and see. The last time it was 40 and this time it's true, 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 three times and it's, it, have produced over yeah 130 images of three videos good yeah so that's about it this is how you extract frames like uh, if you can ask me like why do we need to extract frames from Python videos it's probably it's it's not exactly probably it it is that we need it for like you know to use in the like data science they oh, sorry deep learning if we are doing video classification, we need uh, to extract images from videos and so on. So this is the first step that you might need to do in some uh, like deep learning project. So yeah, best of luck with that. And I think I'll hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.